I've been working with Crystal and Steps and Stages community for almost a year now. And what amazes me is the life that I feel and how it seems to be coming from me. Um, I knew for a long time what my passions were. I had no idea how they were going to marry each other and manifest in the world until I became clear on my vision and what my gifts were and how I wanted that to manifest. So really, I was surprised when this love I had of I'm an artist and I'm also a businesswoman. So uh, that's been something I've been doing for a long time. But what really surprised me was I couldn't figure out how this love I had for food um, and this love of cooking and community and what magic happens in a kitchen, what healing can happen. And I didn't know how all that was going to play into it. I'd always been told before that I wanted too much, right? You're too much. You want to do too many things. Your dreams are too big. And at the beginning of this year, I had this experience where it became so clear to me all of a sudden. Um, I was clear, like, you know, for me, the most important things moving forward were always love and authenticity. And coming from love and authenticity, I had this spark of an idea after almost a year of working with Crystal as a coach. Um, I wanted to start a cooking show. And so this cooking show became the secret ingredient. And the secret ingredient is, you know, fun experiments in the kitchen. And it's all about the conversations that happen. We have, you know, segments come out that are called table talk. And it's really about those kind of conversations that happen in a kitchen when you're sitting there talking with loved ones or family or friends and, you know, the authenticity and the love that exists. And so that we have the fun cooking show, we have the table talks. Um, and what began to emerge while I was doing this was, you know, it was my stepdaughter who was running the camera and doing the editing. It's her job. I mean, she, she wants to be an editor, um, a, a film editor. And she was my assistant, my studio assistant. So she's doing that. She's 21. And then my daughter-in-law is become my co-host in the show. And so we're running around in the kitchen together. And there are times when my granddaughter, who is a little baby, is there in the kitchen with us. And I had this moment where I stopped and realized there were three generations of women and four women total, like, you know, a granddaughter, my daughter-in-law, my stepdaughter, and myself making this dream happen. Um, and we have, like, it's growing so quickly, and it's so amazing to me, these four women, right? So now what we're planning on doing is expanding it even further, and we've started including some social activism and, like, you know, asking people to donate to a specific cause each time we air a full episode. And they're fun, and they're the magic of a kitchen where I've spent a lot of my time but real magic happened the other night when myself and my husband and my son and my daughter-in-law and my stepdaughter and we're all sitting in the living room because we all get together almost every Sunday. And we start talking about the secret ingredient. We start talking about, because we're all going to, we're buying a multifamily house. We're going to be a multi-generational family. And, and, you know, the show gets filmed in the kitchen and we're talking about what we want in a community and what we want to give to the community we're going to be in. And all of a sudden we're talking about a community center and what would happen if, you know, there were cooking shows and what would happen if there were, you know, programs for men. And it just, here were five different people in a room, in a family who all of a sudden shared this dream and their unique gift that they had to bring to it. And I don't think that would have happened if I hadn't taken the time to get really clear on what my vision was and how I, you know, what I have to offer this world and what I have to offer. One of my little brilliant pieces of genius is that I have this ability to see the connecting pieces, how everything relates, what are the relationships. And so from all of these past jobs I've had, all of these past loves um, in this present moment, just the other night, there was a split second of seeing how it all related and how my art and my experience as a businesswoman and my experience as a healer, and my experience as a community activist, and my experience as a wife and a mother, and now a grandmother, we're all coming together um, in this moment to make me feel more alive than I've, I've ever felt in my life. So if you can, give yourself the gift, because where you'll be, where you will be in a year from now, you have no idea.